All right, this is the initial review, the ATI GSG 1911. So this right here is a 22 long rifle 1911 style pistol. All right, so as you can see, it's clear. Uh, initial review of it. Um, things I don't like. Right away, uh, this slide is getting stuck. Right can push on a little but I didn't don't like that second magazine only holds 10 rounds I think uh, as big as this magazine is for the 22 long rifle it should hold more second thing like some 1911s even without the safety engage will not fire without magazine in it Put the magazine in, fire's fine. Um, final thing I don't like is this right here. It is connected, uh, the barrels, the, the pistol has three different points of contact to get this slide off. You have this little hex screw, little push pin, and then you actually have the slide stop. So to get this off, you have to take a little hex key, which I don't know if it comes with one, I just happen to have one handy. So, undo this. Kind of a pain compared to regular 1911 pistols. I'm not sure how long that hex screw is going to last if I have to take it off every time I clean it. So then, just like all other 1911s, you just take your magazine, move the bushing, take your spring out, put your slide right up to here, and then you can push out the slide stop from the back. Just right here, push it out. Um, Pull that right out. Then you have this push pin, which I just use my hex key. Push right out. It's still a pain, but comes out fairly easy. So, just like other 1911s, then you have the guide rod. Looks a little different than other guide rods I've seen. So, this right here is the barrel. The barrel has this uh, cap where you can undo this and then uh, put on a suppressor. But uh, it's the barrel. You can see 22 long rifle. Anyway, frame. It's fairly really decent. It looks like a standard 1911 frame. But anyway, that's how you disassemble the weapon. For 310 bucks, it's not a bad deal, so I'd recommend one. Uh, things that I like, obviously the sights. Those are great sights. Those are probably the best sights on any 1911 pistol I've had. Of course, I don't usually buy Kimbers or anything. Uh, second thing I like about it, the weight. Uh, compared to a steel 1911, it's far lighter. It's made of, it has aluminum frame, aluminum side. So definitely, definitely glad I picked it up.